I'm Dale Cox, and the story of Rock Hill Preserve is coming up next on Two Egg TV. You are viewing a place that very few people ever see. This unique formation in Washington County is the centerpiece of one of Florida's most protected sites. The Rock Hill Preserve is owned by the Nature Conservancy and has not been open to the public in many years. It is home to the southernmost geological formation of its type in the United States, as well as an array of rare and endangered plants, animals, and other species. Dorothy Odom of the Washington County Historical Society says Rock Hill has always been a place of mystery for local people. Because so many people have heard of it, seen pictures of it, we have a few pictures at the museum, there's not much known about it. So there's that air of mystery, why are they there? How did they get there? Um, no one has really satisfactorily ever answered that question. We know geologically we're not supposed to be in any kind of a, a volcanic um, section where that would have pushed it up. An old document, long preserved in Chipley, and supposedly dating from the late 1500s, preserves the tale of an early Spanish explorer named Jose Matanzas. The writer claims that he was captured by American Indians and kept as their prisoner for three years, during which time he heard of a burning mountain in the wilds of western Florida. About 11 o'clock next morning, we got into the great fog of smoke and it smelled like leather burning. Soon we got to the fire and it was liquid running down a hollow slough on fire. This and there seemed to be a deadly gas in the air. The document goes on to describe a massive explosion on the top of this burning hill. Near the middle of the night, a great explosion occurred on this hill. For more than an hour, it seemed that the whole elements were on fire and a great hissing sound on the hill. Matanzas then saw something quite remarkable. As he walked closer to the hill the next morning, he saw burning liquid running east and west from its summit. All at the twinkling of an eye, another great explosion came and this deadly gas caught on fire and it looked like the fire rolled up to the heavens for a short while and all got quiet again. We then saw that great sandstones came out at each explosion. The Jose Matanzas story led to speculation that Rock Hill and nearby Falling Waters Hill might be forgotten volcanoes. Early settlers of the region also thought that the burning liquid described in the document might be oil. Historian Dale Cox, however, has a different theory. Well, there's probably a little more than a bit of hooey to this whole Jose Matanza story. Uh, it doesn't really match the known Spanish records of that time and, and what we know about Spain's involvement in Florida. Uh, we also know that the formations on Rock Hill are sandstone and they are not volcanic in nature, although many people have often speculated that. Uh, we also uh, know that this story appears to have originated at about the time that Wildcat oil drillers were trying to secure investment in the Washington County area, and these stories of, of burning streams of oil and all of this probably led to a bit of oil fever in the area to encourage people to invest in their projects, you know, to drill some of Florida's earliest oil wells. An oil well was drilled on nearby Falling Waters Hill in 1919. The effort reached a depth of 3,900 feet and produced a blow of natural gas. Oil was also found, but not in the quantities that would make the well profitable using the technologies of a hundred years ago. While the stories of a volcano and burning streams of oil are probably not true, Rock Hill does have a fascinating real history. So when the settlers were here, they actually quarried rocks out of here and used them to build some of the houses in town. We have literature that tells of one man that paid his bills uh, by bringing rocks from the quarry out to, to help build a, a doctor's house. So with that, and then it's just kind of has a, a nostalgic kind of um, romantic almost, if you will, uh, kind of atmosphere about it because it's so unknown. The Rock Hill site is carefully protected by the Nature Conservancy which kindly gave us permission to visit and film the story. The organization works to preserve the natural geological formation, as well as the wide variety of rare plants and animals that inhabit the vicinity. From Rock Hill in Washington County, Florida, I'm Rachel Conrad for Two Ag TV.